At this point, I hope I've already convinced you why the Learning Targets app is so important, and the other videos uh, can show you how to use the App Center and enable that app. Now that the Learning Targets app is active, it, let's customize the set of learning targets that our students and I will use to reference our feedback. So if I go to the Course and Term Editor, I can access the Edit Learning Targets button. Initially, you're given a blank slate. You can import a list of Common Core standards, or you can import uh, a file. So if a lead teacher has already designed a list of standards for you to use or start from, you can load this list. But let's actually import from the Common Core standards. This is an example, high school math. Let's see, we'll start on 8th grade math. There we go. And now I can just simply drag and drop these to customize it. I can also change what tier they are. So this is the unit goal, and these are individual daily learning targets, which incrementally will add to this learning, this broader learning objective. These standards are so broad that sometimes you might want to break them down and then add new substandards below each one. And if they're getting a low score in math, point eight, point e, e, point a, point three, that doesn't help them very much. But if they can read the description and understand what they need to study harder, it will really help give them better feedback and guidance from this pool of data. Working through these standards can be intimidating. Take your time. You can start at the top of the list and just build a standard as you need it in your class curriculum. By the end of the year, you'll have the whole list ready, and then you can save it and keep that in institutional knowledge. It will be in your account, and you can keep a hard copy for yourself.